so I told myself um, back in September that I wanted to set some goals so I could do a couple uh, vending I guess you know jobs or whatever around the city and I wanted to start with my own people first when I say my own people I mean black people I wanted to start with us first so I could gain the experience and take in the atmosphere and you know see what we think about the products that I have uh, you know some of the things that I'm making some of the things that I'm reselling now let me give you a quick example of what I am selling I thrift a lot uh, I go to a very select few places in Houston that have good quality things that have not been worn mainly like 80 percent of the things that i purchase have never been worn some of them still have the tags on them some of them still are new without the tags i have uh, you know in the other 20 percent maybe something that has been gently worn once i get clothes from friends or you know people that i meet that i tell them what i do they'll be like oh girl i had something in my closet and i never worn it i barely tried it on you know can you can you sell this or things like that so those are the type of the things the type of things that i put out you know things that are are of good quality that are clean no buttons missing the zipper works absolutely fine uh no strings hanging no lint no wear no tear if it does have wear and tear on it and i still think it's something that is a name brand that is still desired i'll mark the price down extremely like if you guys take a look at the things that i post on instagram and facebook i don't charge a lot for anything because my slogan is astra's closet a fancy fair way to shop you can find you know something that's on there that could be worth if you see it on Poshmark or somewhere else $50 and I'm selling it for like eight or nine you know because I'm just in the process of just making sure that the name is out there more than uh, you know caring about if I'm making a huge profit or not and so that's what's important to me so um, now that you know what I'm selling you know like the quality of things that I'm selling jeans shoes boots necklaces purses scarves you know anything for uh kids I, I used to sell a lot of children's clothes back in the day because uh, my friends had younger kids so uh, you know younger kids clothing um me i have some men's shirts like work short shirts things like that and uh a couple hats and ties bow ties handkerchiefs things like that okay so now that i've set the picture for you guys so you'll know what i have i'm going to tell you what i've been experiencing when i've been going to these these locations to do vendor work people are turning their nose up at me acting like i ain't never seen some of them in the thrift store and i'm not kidding i've seen some of these women <laughs> i have a very good photographic memory sometimes so I'm like, I didn't see some of y'all before in the thrift store, like on thrift day. You know what I mean? People are being so bougie. They're acting like they never wore anything that's ever been gently used. Everybody is out here balling. Everybody's wearing clothes that's never been never been worn by anybody else. You know, name brand or not, they people just get really bougie in this setting. So the first time that I decided to be a, a, a local vendor here in the city, um, I forgot that people can be highly materialistic. They want brands over quality, okay? So I hauled all of this stuff out of the house. I mean, when I say all this stuff, I have a 40 gallon tub with wheels on it. I hauled that out of the house. It was full of boots, mainly boots, boots, just boots and jeans. So, you know, boots and jeans can be heavy. I hauled that out. When I got there, people were like, oh, these are used, you know, like that or whatever. And I tell them, uh, you know, some of these are gently used, worn maybe once. And uh, some of these, the rest of these are new. People don't want it. But you'll get on Poshmark 
and you'll buy my same item on Poshmark and it'll have all the same information on there, be the same pair of jeans and everything. So I, I started to notice that people act funny when, when I'm out there selling these things. My second event today, a lady came up to me and she was so excited to see me. She was like, I've never seen anybody have a table at one of these events. Uh, for resale I think that's really cool you know she was nice and I was like oh that's that was just nice for her to say that you know she was my first and only customer <laughs> and she just you know gave me that burst of sunshine that that kept me hoping for the rest of the day so I left early from the event because it's I had to be there at 10 30 in the morning I got there like 10 45 and I had been sitting there it ends at 6 o'clock and I stayed till like 4 30 5 o'clock so you know that was like a total waste of day of the day I could have been you know doing something else that would help me in in more of a way than this did besides networking and I got a couple more Instagram followers so I'm thankful for that but it was just a total waste of time today and so um I, I'm I'm learning by trial and error what I need to do. I so the second time I went to this other place that I went to today, I didn't take all that stuff that I took to the other place the first time. I didn't carry all that stuff because it's wearing and tear on my body and I just don't want to deal with it. You know, so I I have this smudge spray, sage spray, and um, I sold a bottle to my friend yesterday who was also one of my clients but she bought a bottle and she sprayed it and she said it smells really good so I told her to be honest and she said it does it smells really good and I was glad she told me what she could smell in it which she she got it right she knew the ingredients and I was like okay so I just I took some of that with me and I took probably about 10 pair of jeans and I took probably about five or six, maybe seven pair of boots. And I came back with all that stuff. So now I got to take all that stuff back in the house. So doing this, it's not for me. It's not for me. So that's the whole point of this is that I'm glad that I can teach myself what's good for me and what's not. But carrying this stuff up and down and doing all of this, this is not for me. I like online sales. Selling online is a little bit easier because at least once I bring it into the place that I'm storing it in, it's there until I take it out and take it to the post office. So that works better for me. So I've just been learning a lot. People are so funny acting. People will turn their nose up to you and know that the stuff that they have on is secondhand too. I just think that it's so funny. <clears throat> so that's been my vending experience so far I also learned that what I need to do is find the audience that I can cater to because sometimes you know you could just be in the wrong demographics it's just you know may not be for you but I figured since I was in more of an urban area where people desire brands at a cheaper price that would make more sense and um, it make more sense to me if I was somewhere and I was shopping and at an open marketplace I would want to find clothes at a discounted price that are clean and affordable you know what I mean but I'm not everybody so and everybody's not me so I'm just learning I'm not complaining I'm just mad I wasted all my time all day long when I could have been out here driving or doing something a little bit more productive to earn cash you know instead of going there and of course I like things while I'm there so I bought you know uh, some oils uh, once a year I shop and I buy oils from other people so this was my oil buy for for the year and I only spent 20 bucks it wasn't bad and I got some oils but um I just I just I, this is trial and error and like I said before if I didn't have to learn you know to, to tell others I'll be damn I wouldn't I'll be damn if I didn't have to learn I just have to learn that's it it's just trial and error so I, I've been it for nine minutes or whatever and I thank you guys for listening <laughs> this is my vendor experience it's not going the way I thought it would but it's gonna look up and I might try it again but I'm learning that I can't be hauling all of this stuff and I wouldn't even expect nobody to come and help me and haul it either cuz I just it's it just is backbreaking and it just doesn't seem worth it so I'm going to figure some other things out, you guys. 
thanks uh, for listening and watching. You can also follow me on Astra's Closet on Instagram. Peace and blessings to you.